Capricorn, this is going to be a, a singles reading, you guys, for November 9th through the 16th. I don't specifically do singles, so I decided to go ahead and do one. For those of you who are not connected to anyone, there's nobody that you're thinking about. Um, nobody that you're hoping, you know, to come back to you. Just you're good by yourself, but, you know, you're open to meeting and mingling, okay? As a single Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. So let's see what your options are in love for November 9th through the 16th. What options does Capricorn have for November 9th through the 16th? Capricorn love options for November 9th through the 16th. Let's see what's going on for, for that King of Swords. That's, that's you. Probably like right there at Aquarius as well. Oh, you got a fire sign. Oh, oh, okay. All right, Queen of Wands, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, beautiful, creative, uh, I feel feisty, <laughs> feisty, or either you have this energy in your chart, okay, um, but whoever this is, I feel like they're not overflowing with love. Like they're not going to just say, oh, I like you or, you know, I want to go out with you. I want to be with you. No, they're going to give you what you give them. I feel like this person right here. I don't feel like they're not affectionate. I just feel like they're not going to like be overflowing with it. You know, you're going to have to work for it. I feel like we're the man or woman. Okay. I feel like this person too is very, very um, confident in themselves. They know they look good. They know other people um, covet them, want them. You know, they they know this. I feel like here, they like to go out and have a good time with their friends, with their family. You know, and that is where their focus is currently. Because I feel like this person has been through something in the past with somebody else. So they're like, they're balancing out themselves at this point because I feel like this person did not feel so good when they were involved in another relationship here in the past. And so now they're like coming into themselves. They're feeling themselves almost, but not really in a bad way. Not, I don't see it in a bad way. I see it as though, you know, they were lacking the confidence before and now they, they are full of their confidence. They are, they know what they want. They know who they are, you know? And I feel like that's this person right here. This case, I do feel like, you know, they they have options as far as not a string of people following behind them but you know they have options in like love if they want to date or pursue somebody or you know talk to someone on the phone whatever and if they don't have somebody like that i think they're good with focusing on like i said going out with their friends having fun focusing on their business they started you know because this is somebody that too has just started a business and is very um you know energetic and optimistic about it they're very into what they're doing they have a lot of things on their plate right now i feel like they're making their way in the world after, um, you know, going through some heartache here in the past, going through some kind of um, life-changing event in the past with someone else. And they are making their way in the world. They're, you know, trying to figure out what steps to take here. You have the, the Nine of Wands here. The Wounded Warrior has been through something. It's protecting what is 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 theirs protecting what they have left their self-esteem their self-worth you know shielding themselves from any negativity I feel like here
And also Capricorn, I feel like, I don't know if, if this person is like really coming towards you or you them. Because for some of you, I feel as though you, you see this person and you know who this person is and you've watched them, not watched them like as in stalk them, but you know they've gone through something. And I feel like you want to make an offer to them. You see what kind of person they are. You see the battle that they've gone through. You've, you've seen how hurt they were in the past, what they went through. You see this. And I feel like you want to go towards them and offer them something. But um, let them, let them, I would say, give this person a little time if, if you are considering going towards them because they still have some things to sort out here with the five of wands not with someone else but within themselves because they have they've endured something here and i think they probably need a little time to kind of you know figure the find their way because i feel like they started a business they they they're doing something new over here not only are they just out of a relationship and rebuilding on that like on themselves after that relationship but they are they they have their hands in a couple of different things and they're really trying to figure out you know a balance here they really are with the seven of cups you know being all these things up in the air you know they're starting a new business here the queen of wands is some kind of new endeavor Okay, and they only have so much to give here with the Page of Cups. They're just trying to find they're happy right now. So either give them a minute or be patient with them, I would say. Okay. All right, Capricorn. So that's what I have for you for November 9th through the 16th. And um, as far as your love options go, and I will be speaking with you soon.